Hi everyone, welcome back to the Robson Fan Art Vlogs. This is us finally starting 2022 and I'm delighted to say we're kicking off with a bit of a bang. We've managed to secure JJ Adams once again for not one but two shows this year. Um, this one was a little bit last minute purely down to the, the amazing response of the collection release. We had a number of people um, phone us up securing artworks and we thought we'd given the kind of popularity of it, we probably owed it to JJ and to the collectors to do a little bit more than just launching it online, which we've done for the past two years. So uh, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the event and what's going to go on. So we're going to be opening the doors on Saturday the 23rd of April, one o'clock. Um, the event will run from one till four, um, which will give you plenty of time to come in, meet JJ, discuss the new collection, find out the huge amount of hidden gems that are in this in this series, um, which my colleague Kelly's been working on to do for our blog, um, which will get posted online. I don't know, it might be online before the event, I don't know, and um, we'll see how we go. Um, I'm gonna give you a little walk through that, just in a wee bit, but if you are interested in coming to the event, please email kelly at edinburgh at robertsonfineart.com. That's edinburgh at robertsonfineart.com. Uh, or phone us, just give Kelly a buzz on 0131 285 and we'll make sure you're on the RSVP list. Now, for this event, we've been delighted to secure 25 hand sprayed signed limited editions from JJ in the form of a giveaway. So this, this will be a little bit different because we launched the collection online last week, we we're going and we only kind of signed off on this a few days ago. We are going to be giving these to the first 25 people through the door as opposed to the, 20, the first 25 people buying. So if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these, which you really should be because they're pretty sick, be here in plenty of time for one o'clock on Saturday, 23rd of April. It's not a giveaway you want to miss. So in addition to the giveaway, we've also managed to secure a good selection of uh, originals from the new collection. and. We would like to show you them in the flesh. It's not very often, unless you come to an event, that you get to see JJ Originals up close and in person. Um, and it's certainly a sight to behold, so I would highly recommend this. Now we have, as I say, got a number of works from uh, the new collection, but we also have a small series of works from previous collections that we've secured for the gallery. Um, we do intend to have the entire back room purely for originals. So if you've been to the Edinburgh Gallery, you'll know there's a decent size room there um, and that will be just jam-packed full of original JJ Adams works. So definitely something to come and see. Following on from the original side of things, we've been amazed with the amount of collaborative projects that we've been working on over the past kind of 10 to 12 months. Um, through As we kind of come out of lockdown, people are able to plan a little bit more what they're doing with their businesses and trying to give themselves a degree of separation. Now we've got, I think, three or four projects in the pipeline at the moment where we're working with our clients who own a, a, a real kind of variety of different types of business and we're using JJ's artworks to give them, like I say, that whole kind of like sense of separation and kind of up, up them from their competition. So. Um, if that is something that's of interest to you, if you're uh, self-employed or you work within the like, marketing department of a company, um, these are projects that not only myself but JJ and his team uh, thrive on. And we've we've done some amazing things in the past. We've got some amazing things in the pipeline. Um, so please, again, just reach out, send us an email to Edinburgh at robertsonfineart.com. And again, if it's not for a business, if it's just something that you've always kind of thought J you'd love to see from JJ and you'd like to have an original, ping us the question. Uh, we'd love to discuss it with you. Um, maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's not for JJ. Maybe it's something that a different artist can do. But if you know JJ's work, you'll know what he's capable of, and you know the kind of thing that he does. Um, and commissioning an artwork from JJ is is it's a really exciting process. So I would highly recommend it to anybody. So getting back to the collection at hand, which is what you're all here for, um, it's probably one of the most diverse collections we've seen for a long time, be it through different actual techniques that JJ's used or different mediums with some of these flag originals that he's done. Um, but what Kelly and I have really noticed going through the works in more detail is 
the degree of complexity within them and all the hidden meanings. It's something that JJ seems to be better and better and better at um, every collection that he does. I mean, in particular, the big vendor piece here, there's lots to be seen. You'll see some close-up snippets here in the video. Um, the Harry Potter piece is incredible. There's so much in that. If you're a Has a P fan, much like myself and my wife, there's so many references to all the films. It's just, it's amazing. And the Time Traveller piece, which is probably my personal favourite, because I'm a bit of an alien movie nerd, and all the references in this, I think, bar the uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I think I've seen every other movie, which I will probably need to watch Killer Clowns, because it looks hilarious. Um, but there's loads in that that takes me back to like my childhood, um, which I know JJ tends to be kind of 80s nostalgia. I'm kind of a kid of the 90s, so he's maybe just bringing it a little bit forward again. But again, there's lots and lots and lots in that. So to sum up, we highly recommend that you come and see these works in the flesh to get the full experience of what they offer. JJ will be on hand, obviously, to discuss these hidden elements, probably in greater detail than definitely myself or even Kelly, who's been studying the works for the past week. Um, but JG, as we all know, is a real sci-fi, 80s movies buff, so there will be things in there that he's put in that not, nobody will, will know why they're there except JG. Um, so please do come and meet him, and that's Saturday 23rd of April, 1 o'clock to 4 p.m. And it's gonna be a super casual, relaxed affair, so bring the family, Bring some friends, just remember to RSVP, so remember how much orange juice and Prosecco to buy. We look forward to seeing you then. Bye guys.